Hi everyone, this is Mitchville the Otter by Gavin Maxwell from class 10, lesson number 8. But before that, if you have not subscribed the channel, please do so. Also, please watch the video till the end. Now, this lesson, Mitchville the Otter, has been divided into four sections. First section is about how Maxwell got the otter. Early in 1956, he was in southern Iraq. And at that time, Maxwell decided that he would keep an otter instead of a dog. Why? Because he lived in Kamisverna, which is in Scotland. This area is surrounded by water and the water body was available near his house. So he decided to keep an otter. He casually told his friend that he wanted to have an otter. And his friend also casually replied that he can get an otter in Tigris marshes where these otters could easily be found and they are as common as mosquitoes. Maxwell and his friend at that time, they were going together to consulate journal's office in Basra in order to collect their mail. But when they went there, uh, Maxwell's mail has not come. And he waited there for 12 days to get his mail. When it finally came, he took his mail to his room. But in his room, he found two Arabs waiting for him and they were sitting on the floor with a sack and the sack was moving. And they handed over a note to Maxwell from his friend which said, here is your otter. So this is how he got his otter. His friend has sent two people to deliver the otter to him. In the second section, he talks about Midge and otters in journal. So when he opened the sack and he saw Mijbil, this is the name of the otter, he says that it started a new phase in his life and he would call it otter fixation or attraction towards otters. It was a thraldom to otter. And when he saw the otter, it was fully covered with mud. The otter looked like a medieval dragon. For the first day, Mijbil was aloof and indifferent. But on the second day, he started to show interest in his surrounding. He slept in the bed with Maxwell uh, in the crook of his knee. And now Maxwell describes his scientific name. It is Letrogale Persipicillata Maxwelli or Maxwell's Otter. It is Maxwell's Otter in two ways. Maxwell is its scientific name plus even the author of this lesson is Gavin Maxwell and Maxwell got an otter. So it is Maxwell's otter too. When Maxwell took Midgeville to the bathroom, Midgeville became wild with joy. He was plunging and rolling and shooting and making slosh and splash like a hippo. And next day, when he opened the door, Midgeville escapes from the room goes into the washroom and he fumbles with the taps. He tries to open it and he was lucky to open it in the correct way. He could get a full flow, but on some later occasions, he tightened it and he was then chittering with irritation. Now, from Mitchell's behavior, Maxwell came to know about the main characteristic of otters. They love water. If there is water, water is to be spread everywhere. If there is a bowl kept, it has to be upturned immediately. If it is not upturned, Midwill would sit in it. That means water should not be static. Water should always be on the move. So otters, they love water and they cannot stand static water. This provokes them or they get angry when they look at the water being static. And he would play a lot of games. He would play with a rubber ball like a four-footed soccer player. And he would use his neck to throw it. He would dribble and throw it. He would also juggle with objects while lying on his back. He would play with marbles. He would roll it over his body and would not let it fall. So this is how we come to know that Midge was very friendly. He was fun-loving. He loved to play in water, plus he had his own games. The third part describes his journey to London. Since there was no flight available which would allow animals, so he took a flight via 
Paris. That means from Basra he would go to Paris, and from Paris he would go to London. And according to the instructions of the airline, he needed to put Mijbel in an eighteen-inch square box. So he got the box made. He put Mij almost an hour before leaving for the airport in it, and he went for a very quick meal. But when he arrived, he saw that Mij was completely covered with blood. He was whimpering. and maxwell had no time changing the box because he saw the condition of the box mijbil had torn the lining of the box so what he did he put mijbil back in the box and he ran to catch his flight a car took him to the airport and the aircraft was ready he was happy to catch the flight now inside the flight the air hostess was very nice she understood his situation and she allowed max to keep mij on his knees although the airline rules say that he had to be kept inside the box by his knees but here the air hostess she was a queen of her own kind and she allowed him to keep mij on his knees and he was filled with gratitude he felt like kissing the air hostess hand in gratitude as soon as he kept mij on his knees mij escaped from there he went through the legs of the passengers people started shouting and there was a lady who cried rat rat now maxwell he saw the tail of mij and when he tried to jump um catch him his face was covered with curry because he dashed into a portly turbaned indian man he could finally find mij near his feet and he was chittering with welcome and relief so finally he got him so this is the incident that has taken place inside the flight now mij stayed for some time in london with maxwell and he loved playing with rubber ball marbles toys terrapin shell that they had brought from marshes he also invented a game and this game would keep him busy for half an hour at end and the game was he would keep a ping pong ball on high end of a damaged suitcase he would roll it and he would try to catch it from the other end maxwell also talks about the compulsive habits that all have compulsive habits means habits which we cannot avoid and he talks about compulsive habits of children and then later on he compares it with midwill now children they have sometimes habit of keeping feet inside the square block they would not step on the line touching every seventh railing or the post or passing every second lamp post so these are like compulsive habits which we all have in the same way mijbil had a compulsive habit that was on the way back whenever he was taken out he would never say this be on the way home midwill would gallop on the school fence because of 30 yard and he would distract the students as well as staff of the school now maxwell also tells us about the common guesses made by londoners about mij sometimes they would call him baby seal some people would call him a squirrel walrus hippo beaver bear cub even bronte saw maxwell he says i would give full marks to a laborer because he got very angry very annoyed he left his work he was doing some kind of digging he left his work and he asked mr what is that supposed to be he was so annoyed that he got angry looking at mijbil and he found him to be a sort of joke and that is why he says what is that supposed to be so this is a story which tells us about otters also tells us about the characteristics of an otter how they are very fun loving intelligent creatures and it also sensitizes us towards keeping animals as pet so again animal theme has been emphasized time and again in the book and this lesson is an apt example of that i hope you like the video please like share and subscribe thank you